Hello everyone, welcome back to the video. In today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to make low poly rocks. This is the second video in the tutorial series that I'm working on. Um, and this is how you'd make rocks like this. Um, and I did them quick and I'll show you guys how I make them in Blender. I use Blender 2.79, but you can follow all these steps in Blender 2.8, so don't let that confuse you. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is start out with a cube. If you just open Blender, it should be there along with the camera and a lamp. Go ahead and delete the camera and the lamp by uh, right, uh, right clicking them and then uh, pressing X to delete them. Uh, you should have your scene looking something like this. Now we're gonna turn this cube into three different types of rocks. So I'm just gonna hold Shift and D and duplicate them. And that'll give me three cubes because we're gonna make three different shapes and I'm gonna teach you like three different techniques I'd use for making them. Uh, the first one is just gonna be like a basic, uh, basic rock shape. So the first thing I'm gonna do is create a subdivision surface. This will give the rock uh, more, more shapes to work with or more uh, edges to work with. Let me show you what I mean. So if I wanted to shape this into a rock, I would only have these corners to work with. So even if you fold this like this, it still doesn't look like a very good rock. Like it's still really square, really flat. So in order to give it more, um, like more surface to work with, we're going to create uh, subdivisions like we have here. And that'll just help us uh, shape and sculpt the rock the, the more we need it to. So you can specify how many subdivisions you want. If you want to hire uh, like a more detailed rock, you need to give it more subdivisions. So maybe two or three. I would recommend two if you're going for a low poly look. And then from here, we can kind of shape it. Um, hold or press S and like scale it. Uh, you can specify the axis that you want to scale it on. Make it about as big as you'd want your rock to be. From here, we're going to add some texture and this will just give it, um, it'll kind of randomly shape each of these things. And I'll show you guys what I mean by that. So what we're going to do is add a displacement modifier. And we're going to press new where it says texture. So displace and then new texture. Then we're going to go over here to the texture tab. And we're going to select or switch our texture to this one right here. Now it looks kind of crazy. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to size. And we're going to scale it up a lot. Until you see kind of a shape you like for the rock. I find that 1.8 looks the best. And then we're going to lower the intensity just a little bit. And that'll give it kind of a more random shape. Um, and then also the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to apply this modifier. So just go back to the modifier tab and apply it. And then we're gonna go right here where it says, um, we're gonna go where it says decimate. And we're just gonna lower the ratio to like 0 0.3, 0 0.4, however much you like it until you find like the low poly, like the desired look. So if you want it super low poly, I'd recommend like 0 0.1, 0 0.2, um, but I usually try to keep it around 0 0.3 or 4, so like that. And that's how you would make your first rock. The next rock we're going to do is kind of a more stylized rock. Uh, this is really basic. It'll, it's kind of universal, work for whatever, but let's say you need a rock for like a, a hill or something really specific. Uh, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to use the cube and we're kind of going to try to like sculpt out the shape of the rock that we want kind of. So what we're going to do, we're going to extrude side of it and like kind of move it up. Just give it like an overall foundation of how you'd want it to look like in game, if that makes sense. So kind of like shape it however you want it to be. Use E to extrude, grab the edges where you need to kind of just give it the shape you want. So let's say I needed my uh, rock to shape like a mountain. I'd kind of do that a little bit just so it has an overall shape and then you can just copy the steps we used for the first one. Um, we're going to add like a, a subdivision surface and then like a displacement modifier. Um, so just copy, copy those steps real quick. That's, that's a pretty decent shape for the rock. We're just going to add a subdivision surface. And as you guys can see, it kind of divided that a little bit. I don't need it as subdivised. Actually, uh, yeah, so I do probably like one is pretty good for that. And then you can just apply. Actually, I would give it a higher one um, so we can have more to work with. And then we can kind of scale it up like that. So just do something like that and then apply it. Uh, tap out of edit mode and then apply it and now we can just skip the uh, the, sh the we can skip the displacement and then we can go straight to the decimate just like that 
and then I just kind of decimate it and there we have like our taller more shaped rock the way that we kind of prefer it to be shaped versus the random uh, shape that we did for the first one and you can just scale it however you want it to but that's how you do like the second one if you tr are going for a specific shape uh, or size and then finally we're doing like the smallest most simple one uh, for this one you can just uh, add the subdivision surface and then uh, you can up the view to however much you want it to be. Uh, two is pretty good. Apply that. And then for this one, I just decimate it and lower the ratio. And that's just your quick and easy rock. This is the easiest way to do it. It's the third one. And that just gives you something really simple and easy to work with. And also a little bit of variety. So let's say you need a couple different ones. You can kind of increase and lower the ratio however you need it to. But yeah, that's how I would make all three of those rocks. Uh, if you want to export it to studio, just right click export wavefront.obj and then on studio you can just control uh, uh, copy and paste your old mesh or whatever like I just did or insert a mesh part and then just open it up. Make sure you have selection only selected or else you'll import all three of the meshes at the same time. So just go to blender uh, file export wavefront.obj and then do selection only just like that. So now that you import it, boom, you have your rock. And that's how you would make rocks like these. And so we have the trees and the rocks for this series so far. Next thing we're going to work on is terrain. Um, but yeah, that's all that we have so far. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys found this helpful, make sure to thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time.